these two cables and these two cables are not connected to anything yet put them aside first we start with this take the red cable connected to your first toy the red cable connected to the first toy attach it to the first spring bend the spring and slide the wire in okay so the red one connects to the first spring take the red cable from the other light and connect it to the same spring So now you have two red cables connected to the same spring. One of them is from your first light. The second red cable is from your second light. They're both connected to the same spring. Okay. Next, take your red cable. It's not attached to anything. and use it to connect your first spring to your third spring now take the black cable from your first side This is from your first toy. Attach it to the second spring. Take the back cable from the other light. Attach it to the second spring. You have two black cables. One from each light attached to the same spring. Take your black cable that's not attached to anything. Use it to connect your second spring with your fourth spring. So in the first spring, you have two red cables, one from your first light and one from your second light. You have a short red cable connecting your first and third spring. On the second spring, you have two black cables, one from your first light, one from your second light, both attached to the second spring. Then your short black cable connects the second spring and the fourth spring. Now you take this red cable, it's the one connected to your switch. It's the one connected to your switch. You attach it to the third spring. So now there are two red cables on your third spring. One from the switch and one from the short cable that you already attached just now. Two red cables on the third spring. You take this black cable. It's attached to your battery box. Connect it to the fourth spring so you have two cables here also now your third spring has two red cables one from your switch one from the short cable your fourth spring has two black cables one from your battery box and one from the short cable Once you have that, we're going to connect the other four cables. This red one from your motor, connect it to the third spring.
the red cable from the motor connect it to the third string same thing with the red cable from the back near the orange this red cable connected to the third spring you should now have four red cables on your third spring four red cables on your third spring you should have two more black cables left one from the motor and one at the back two black cables attach both of them to the fourth spring attach both of them to the fourth spring so now you have four cables attached to your last spring that's it